hello all and welcome to analytics educator today i'm going to show you a case study on a used car prediction so what does it mean is uh, there is an indian automobile company kuchi motors uh, which wants to enter into the us market for selling the second hand cars okay but they want to understand for a particular second hand car what should be the optimum price which the seller should be getting it they should not be paying more than what should have been the actual price or they should not be paying anything less than what should have been the optimum price what is the maximum value for a particular second hand car should have uh, fetched so in order to do that we have a data set let me show you the data uh, in this data in this data set we have the selling price we have already some historical data selling price what is the present price of this car okay uh, the kilometers driven the fuel type petrol or diesel the seller type uh, transmission whether it was manual or automatic the owner how many uh, transmission or how many owner had been there so this is the zero owner i mean the first time it's selling from someone or it is the second time or the fourth time so how many owners were there earlier number of years so for the the actual the age of the car so all these are given to me and i need to predict the selling price so this is my dependent variable the selling price and all these are independent variables and looking at this data it is so very obvious that fuel type seller type and the transmission uh, these are characters so we will be creating dummy variables for them so in the series of videos i'm going to show you so how we can do it maybe using a linear regression okay and we are going to do it everything using python okay maybe a linear regression in python in linear regression we have two different methods one is scikit learn so i'm going to show you how to do it using scikit learn and i'm going to show you how to do it with stats model okay and then we are going to use a series of other modeling techniques in order to understand how we can improve the accuracies of the results all right so maybe i'll be showing you decision tree i'll be showing you random forest i'll be showing you xg boost all these other different methods i'm going to show you and we'll understand how we can improve the accuracies of the models all right so let's start okay we will go to spider not spider it's a jupiter you can also do it using spider uh, but uh, today i'm going to using jupiter so let me create some of the cells and first i'll be importing the import the packages import pandas as pd import numpy as np import os all these packages i, I have imported and scikit-learn i have not imported i'll import it later on when i'll be using it all right now i will set the path os dot change directory and i'll be giving the path where i have kept the data set i will be giving the path and we need to change the slashes to double slashes okay and once done then i'll import the uh, data data equals to pd dot read underscore csv and the name is car underscore price dot csv i need to write the full extension data dot head i just want to see them see they have been imported properly all right i can see all the 
clearly I can see all the columns have been imported ok now first of all I am not going to treat any outlier treatment ok so first we will do without even doing any outlier treatment and let's see how it it gives me the result and then in the second video I am going to show you if we do the outlier treatment then what's going to happen ok so I'm just going to show you all different permutation combinations but one thing I'm going to check that is do you have any missing values if yes I'm going to treat that because without with missing values I cannot proceed with the machine learning so write data dot is null dot sum so fortunately we don't have any missing values none of the columns are having any missing values zero that's fine now I need to create a dummy variables we know for all these fuel type cellar type transmission I need to create the dummy variables for it so I'll be creating the dummy variables dummy variables you write data equals to pd dot gate underscore get underscore dummies uh, so the data frame name is data and columns equals to within third bracket I will be writing the name of the columns for which I will be creating the dummy variables like first it's fuel type and seller type and transmission and drop underscore first equals to true that means the alphabetically whichever value comes first will be considered as my base ok and we'll check if they have been created properly yes now all of them they have been I mean created as 0 1 so this part is fine now what I'm going to do is I'm going to segregate them as my dependent variable and independent variable so we know selling price is our, our dependent variable so with dependent variable we'll call them as y y equals to data LOC and I will be taking the selling price as my Y and I'll create X equals to as my independent variables I will simply drop the selling price data dot drop I'll copy this part selling price and X is equals to 1 ok and I can check x dot head does it show me yes it is showing me I don't have selling price I can also check for y yes it is showing me the selling price so x and y have been segregated separately now I'm going to create a testing and the training part okay so I will write from sklearn dot model selection import train train test train test split okay and I will write train underscore x these are the uh, data frame which will be populated taste underscore x train underscore y taste underscore y equals to train taste split train test split if you just press shift and tab it's going to show you all the different 
uh, options what uh, we can use so I will be giving the test size I can copy paste it test size so first I'll have to write so I'll be using this X and Y what I have created X Y and test size equals to let's say I'll say 0 0.25 means 25 percent will be kept into the testing and 75 percent will be retained as my training okay it's done now we are going to use the linear regression so again I will write import sklearn dot linear model so it's actually from from linear model import linear regression okay and then I will write I'll give some name to it suppose I give it a name as maybe linear regression equals to linear regression this will be uh, the short form of linear regression and I will write linrig dot fit I am going to use this on my data frame which I have created over here so that is going to be my train underscore x and train underscore y on this thing I'll be using it and then I'll be predicting it predict the results now see I am training my model on the training data set but when I'll be predicting it I'll be using the testing part y pred equals to linrig dot predict and on which I am going to predict that is test underscore x alright now if I execute it it's done now let's see what is there in y pred y pred is if I execute it see I have a series of different results which I have predicted and I am going to match it with the test y which I had kept separately test y which I had kept separately I'll be uh, matching them so I'll be calculating the MIP so between my these two values test y and the y pred in these two things let's see how much is the MIP so from sklearn dot matrices import mean absolute percentage error mean absolute percentage error and you simply write the two values that is these two things y pred and test y test y comma y pred and you multiply them with 100 so that we get it into a whole number not in decimal now if you execute it so see I am getting a MIP of 136 percent which is a horrible one so it is highly deviated from the actual results alright so we can write it down somewhere using the linear a regression of sklearn without outlier MIP we have gotten 136 percent alright now in the next video I am going to show you how we can improve this model further with maybe using different algorithms or maybe using different other type of variable transformation we can from 136 percent how much improvement we can make 
all right if you like our video please uh, like this video and subscribe our channel and you can visit my website i will put the link into the description where you will be getting you you can just get to see all these codes thank you so much